You need a phone, a power bank, charging cable, tripod, potentially a gimbal, and maybe an external microphone. The last two are optional though. For this video, I'll be using DigitalOcean. You can just go to digitalocean.com or follow the link in the description to sign up with your own account. Creating RTMP server is really simple. Here we just go to Droplets, click on Create a New Droplet uh, for Amsterdam, and we'll choose the data center free because there's only one available. Go to Marketplace and search for SRS. Choose this option. For size, we just want to go with the $6 one. And for authentication method, just use password and type in a random password that you can remember yourself, but still make it secure. Remember this till later. For the hostname, just type in RTMP. Now you wait a couple of minutes before it's ready to use. This usually just takes two to three minutes. When the blue bar on the top finishes loading, it's ready to use. For this part here, we just want to make sure we copy the IP address and type it into our browser. Let me go to forward slash mgmt. When you launch this for the first time, it will ask for an admin password. Just type in something easy and simple to remember, but still make it secure and click submit. If we click on streaming, we can see a bunch of the different configuration options we can use for OBS and for your streaming software. In order to change the stream key from this random long characters, we can go to system and then update the secret here for publishing. It is important that you keep this secret to yourself as this is similar to your Twitch stream key and is used to prevent others from taking over your stream. As you can see, it's not been changed. For this next section, to make it easier, just type in the same IP you typed in before and give it the admin password you typed in the first time. To do IRL streams from your mobile phone, you can use many different softwares. For this example, I'll be using Garrix. Tap the clipboard icon for the server and copy the information. Go to your home screen and tap on Garrix Broadcaster. Tap the wheel in the bottom right, tap on connections, tap on the plus, and then on connections. For the URL here, you just want to paste in the server information you copied from before. Go back to Chrome and copy the stream key. Paste it in. And now just give it a name. Make sure you check mark your connection on the right. Tap back twice and go back to the main screen. Click the recording button in the middle and make sure it connects. Here we'll just quickly demonstrate how it works. As you can see, the recording button will turn red shortly, indicating that it's actually streaming. On the tablet, I will open up the same page as we were on before. I'll click on the link to preview the stream on my tablet. As you can see from the video feed on my tablet, it's being streamed from the phone with a small delay. To display the stream in OBS, we want to copy the FLV URL, just like shown here. Go into OBS, click on Sources and add a media source. Give it an appropriate name. Untick local file and the input paste in the URL we just copied. Reduce the reconnect delay to 5 seconds. Use hardware acceleration when possible. Click OK. And as you can see, it's now displaying what I'm streaming from my phone. Make sure it takes up all the space, right click, transform and click on fit to screen. In the bottom right you can see my screen recording from the phone and on the top you can see the RTMP stream. Even if the connection drops, it will automatically resume playing in OBS when you start recording again from your phone. 
And that's how Simulist to get started with IRL streaming. If you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.